Social justice movements are not new. Injustice and inequality have been constants throughout history, and as a result, so is political protest for human rights. The last big social justice movement in the USA was the Civil Rights Movement in the 1960s. Back then, the movement was mobilized using some traditional media and a lot of word of mouth. Modern civil rights movements have the advantage of social media, which exponentially increases both the speed of travel and the amount of people that information can reach. In the last decade, we've seen social media play a large role in the Arab Spring, France's Yellow Vest protests, and movements in the U.S. such as Occupy Wall Street and the Women's March. And now, as the U.S. faces its biggest social justice crisis since the civil rights movement, social media activism is reaching its peak. Across the world, individuals have gathered together through protests and other forms such as social media to stand in opposition against police brutality, systemic racism, and injustice. Following George Floyd's death, the Black Lives Matter movement surged with a call to action more significant than ever. As the movement grew, artists and activists took to various different means to convey their anger, pain, and emotion in response to the injustices leveled upon Black people. In different cities across the globe, Artists have created murals, paintings, and poetry to not only express their feelings, but also tell a story, a message to onlookers. The COVID-19 pandemic has further provided a space through which art and activism have been shared, reposted, and disseminated between individuals who may reside thousands of miles away in another region of the globe. With most students studying remotely and practicing social distancing guidelines, social media has become an even stronger platform for people to not only stay connected, but share art, spread information about protests, phone banking events, places to donate, and amplify the movement. In various cities and universities, artists have spent countless hours painting murals, each of which convey a heartfelt message. In Cincinnati, a group of black artists known as Black Art Speaks came together to create a beautiful mural painted on Plum Street at the front of the City Hall. Unveiled on Juneteenth, each letter is uniquely designed to tell a story of its own. The painting incorporates ideas of gun control, equality, the beauty of natural hair, and more. Led by 17 project managers, the mural was first inspired by a poem written by Alandis Powell, an organizer of the movement. Powell expressed that the painting would remain for five years, emphasizing its importance as a call for citizens of Cincinnati to recognize injustice and stand up for them. At the Washington University in St. Louis, an underpass on campus features a mural by six local Black artists, which depicts themes of social justice, equality, and education interwoven with Black history. The mural was commissioned by the university and was completed prior to the start of the fall semester and return of students to campus. We want to give students something to think about as they walk to class, stated artist De Janeiro Jones. Among many pieces, the mural features a quote by James Baldwin, an African-American playwright known to delve into racial and social issues in his work, and an abstract portrait of the late U.S. Representative John Lewis. In Richmond, Virginia, the former capital of the Confederacy, the General Robert E. Lee Memorial statue stands covered in graffiti, including anti-racist messages and slogans supporting the Black Lives Matter movement. These murals and painted graffiti have been spread through social media, not only within generations, but also across generations. Art has been able to spread to younger generations, inspiring students and young adults to recognize injustice and challenge it. Many different forms of art have also taken the stage, such as poetry, digital art, and photography. While art shared on social media has helped people form an emotional connection to the movement, informational posts have equipped them with the resources to actually participate. Ever since the Black Lives Matter protests peaked in May, Instagram has been filled with aesthetic infographics, slideshows that people can share on their stories. These often contain easily digestible chunks of information or links to ways that people can take action. When these posts go viral, they educate thousands every second. Petitions, phone numbers, and emails that have been shared in the last few months have allowed people across the world the chance to make change from their homes. As we've seen throughout this video, art and social media have played an invaluable role in activism, particularly with the Black Lives Matter movement. However, it is important that we as viewers be informed consumers, keeping an eye out for misinformation, miscredited sources, oversimplification of ideas, and performative activism on social media. 
Despite these potential drawbacks, these platforms' ability to play to the viewer's eyes and emotions give them the power and potential to enact real societal change. With just one click, shared art and information has the power to reach and motivate an ever-growing and intergenerational audience. The art and activism which takes place in our hometowns, streets, and schools is now shared almost seamlessly through every platform and screen, keeping the entire world connected to the fight against racial injustice and systemic oppression.